Hi there, welcome back to another video from WaterPress Valerie's here. And today you'll discover a new way of editing with Gatwit. Since version 2.0, Gatwit is fully compatible with Full Site Editor and Gutenberg 16.3. It means you can design everything on your site from the header down to the footer using Gatwit blocks. The best way to learn something is to start playing with it, so I invite you to test Gatwit and FCE features with me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and ring the bell to receive notifications. And let's jump in! Before we jump into exploring new horizons with Gatwit, let's quickly explain what full site editing is and why it is revolutionizing the way we build our websites. In a nutshell, full site editing is a set of new WordPress features that help us edit all parts of our website. It's an umbrella term for site editor, global styles, uh, blog themes, new site blocks, and theme.json. The idea of FCE is to enable site openers to customize every area of their website from the same place. The goal is to make website customization more comprehensible to a broader public, including those with limited technical skills. The site editor that I mentioned was introduced in version 5.9, and with its help, you can create an entire website from the header to footer using blocks. It also provides greater control over the appearance of your site, such as changing color palettes, spacing, and font sizes. To use the site editor, you must install and activate a block theme. I will be using 2023 for this tutorial, and I've already installed and activated Gatwit. To get started with FCE, navigate to Appearance, Editor in your WordPress dashboard, and this will launch the new site editor. By default, uh, the editor will pull up the home page, but you can edit different templates and template parts. I'm going to Patterns, Manage all template parts. Template parts are elements that you can use in your page templates, and in my case, uh, they include uh, header and footer sections, uh, comments, and post meta. Let's say I want to design a header. The header is one of the first elements on a website that catches our attention. So for a long time, header layout was uh, so was the least customizable part of a website theme, but with full site editing, that's changed. And you see, my header has been already customized while I was creating a navigation menu. So I invite you to watch this tutorial this one, uh, to learn about the navigation block. As you can see, the header is built entirely out of blocks. The outside block is a group block, followed by an inner row block with a site title and navigation. So in general, you can split header elements into three basic sections, and these are site title and logo, navigation menu, and uh, some additional elements. I want to build my header from scratch, that's why I'm deleting all the blocks. Instead of the group block, I want to add a section block by Gatwit. This is a top level, or we can call it parent, uh, container block. Uh, you can use it for organizing multiple child blocks inside it, 
and the block allows you to go with the needed layout so you can go with either a default full width or a custom width content layout inside i'm placing the same row block adding the site title and i want to edit it After that, let's see what we can add. Okay, let it be social links. And next comes one more get rid block. And this is button group. Adding rows is an excellent way to keep your blocks organized. And I'm going to be adding one more row. And my next tab will be placing the menu you've seen before. Now what you see looks like a draft. So we need more editing before our header can be completed. There are a few settings we need to check and adjust. With social links, we can add icons and insert links to social media accounts right in the editor. And then I choose the most appropriate color for the uh, icons and their background. And it's possible to adjust the icon's size and space between them. If needed, we can add more items. Then I want to stretch the block so it can fill available space. After that, I select a style for the button, change the text, and select the color I want for the background and the text. One of the highlights of GetRid is the ability of each block to automatically adjust the styling to your active WordPress theme. So, the section block has been designed to provide you with a huge number of configuration settings. The background is the priority task for me now, so I can apply fancy backgrounds like image, uh, like an image, or gradient, or slider, or even video, so keep this in mind. Then I'm going to delete some unnecessary items from the menu um, that I don't need anymore. Then I choose, I'm going to choose the background color and work with the typography and with settings of the navigation block. To get rid of the space between the blocks, uh, I've set the padding to zero um, so of the row block. I encourage you to play around to test all the different blocks uh, and their options to see what they're doing. And it's the best way to learn the ins and outs of GetWit and the new editor. So you can use any block in the WordPress library within a WordPress header or any template part or even template. If you get lost and can't find your way back, you can always use the undo button in the top left corner of the editor to bring you back to safety. By saving the template part, you are free to choose where you want to apply the changes. 
And if you create a header under template part, that is considered your global header. However, it's also possible to create a different header and apply it to certain templates. That's it. As you can see, accessing and customizing your website's header or any other template part or the whole template can be accomplished in a few short steps using the site editor. Adding, editing, moving, and resizing blocks is really effortless. And together we built the header out of blocks. And a lot of these blocks were gathered blocks. And these blocks open so many possibilities. You can be creative and adjust elements to your liking. Feel free to leave a comment or feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.